Located alongside busy Highway 97, the Keg Steakhouse and Bar opened a new franchise. But for those who've been attending the Water Street Keg since its inception back in 1993, might be wondering what exactly is going on. Uh, the Kelowna Market can support uh, one uh, keg restaurant, so we'll be closing the downtown one on December 31st. So we're looking forward to seeing all of our regulars come in and enjoy the keg un until that time. Stinson will instead stay true to his heart and remain in the downtown location after a lengthy court battle with the Keg Corporation. He hopes his staff will stay on with his new business endeavor in the same building. Um, yeah, I have mixed feelings about, you know, the 38 years with the Keg. Um, a lot of great um, stories and history, but uh, I'm looking forward to moving on and, and, and doing something exciting with these buildings in the downtown. That's, that's where our focus is and it will be after January 1st for sure. Over the summer, the Keg downtown was booming with business. In fact, Stinson's two other restaurants, the train station and Mission Tap House, both did well this past season. Yeah, this summer was a banner year for I think all the restaurants in Kelowna, especially in the downtown with the uh, Bernard improvements being completed now, uh, the, we were lined up. We had a record year at the keg. With the court proceedings over, the new Kelowna keg, owned and operated by a small franchise group, claimed they preferred to be in a high traffic area than downtown. Uh, we just believe it's a uh, you know, great location, very central, convenient for, for a lot of people, a lot of locals living in Kelowna, great parking, great access, you know, all, all the reasons that uh, you'd, you'd look for when choosing a location. Two of the owners currently live in the city and say they'll be just as in touch with the community as the past keg. We feel pretty good about being involved in the community and that's super important to us. So, you know, we've been open a week and, and we've been able to contribute uh, just over $32,000 to Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Okanagan. The new keg opened on September 22nd and gift cards will be honoured at both locations until the downtown restaurant closes in December. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zalinski.